Hey, good morning, guys. It is 3.50 in the morning. I'm on my way to an emergency service call. Uh, last night, I finished at uh, probably about 1 in the morning. Got home, took a shower. I ate a bowl of cereal and went to bed about 2 o'clock or so. And I just got called out. It's almost gonna be four o'clock, so this call I'm going on is for a uh, walk-in cooler. I'm sorry, walk-in freezer that's too warm. Um, got about a 45-minute drive ahead of me. Um, see if I can make a video out of this, but uh, this is the refrigeration life, gentlemen. Refrigeration life. Get about an hour and a half, two hours of sleep and get up on out of the game. I will see you there. That was not cool. So I guess it is a walk-in cooler that is running high temp. cooler I imagine that's beer so beer case so it set off an alarm yesterday at 1.30 at 3 o'clock then at 5.30 then at 6.50 let's see what's going on with that case oh look at all this temptation anyways this is gonna be our guy right here. A T01. So that's our guy. Let's see what's going on in here. Let's get the temperature reading. Uh, coils are not frozen. All fans are running. Feels nice and fresh in here. Uh, yeah, no ice in that coil. There's ice on this coil either. So all the fans are running. Uh, I probably have to go up to the roof and check the condensing unit. This is going to be on a remote condensing unit. It's not going to be on the rack. So, all right, let's go up to the roof real quick. All right, guys, so we gave this a little bit of time to stabilize, hanging around at 38 degrees. Um, see, that says B13. Um, I was under the impression this was gonna be on its own condensing unit, being D1, the box is D1. Uh, I'm gonna go back up to the E2s and make sure that uh, B13 feeds these. If it does, then we'll start looking at B13 on B rack. And if not, then we'll start start going up to the roof and see if this has its own condensing unit. But that's odd. So this the box itself is D1. Refrigeration is B13. That's I haven't seen that here so. Let's go check that out. All right, guys, so we're back at Rec B, and we're gonna go to circuits. Yeah, give it a second. And if you notice, that's for BS. Uh, so, page down. And we're gonna look for B13. So, we got B13 right here, it says spare circuit. So, we have none, none. Refrigeration on. Defrost is off. So we're going to go see if we even have that uh, working. Uh, right here, 13. 
suction spare. All right, guys. So I had a feeling I was correct, and there it is. Condenser D1. And there it goes. This unit's short cycling. Uh, let's see what's going on here. All right, we're currently low on charge. So let's hook up some uh, gauges to it. Let's see what's going on. I want to see what's going on with this fan motor. It's probably our fan cycle right there. So let's find out. Set to about, what is that, 250 or so? goes again short cycling so this fan's not gonna come on because our head pressure is supposed to be about 250 and we're only at about 190 that's why that fans not coming on so that's not the issue the issue is more than likely we're low on right, guys, so we're definitely opening up on low pressure my low pressure switch there so we got zero volts Give it a second. There we go. So we're open right there. There right, we got 212 volts. So we're definitely going off on low pressure. We're gonna have to pump it up with some juice and uh, get it up and running. Then we're gonna have to do a leak check. So those are always fun. Let me go get some refrigerant and some. Uh, let me get my leak detector. Be right back up here. Which one should I take? D Tech or H10? We'll take this little guy today. And uh, I was lucky. I thought I had two jugs of refrigerant, Ugh. but I have one jug. Hey right, guys, we got the refrigerant up here. We're metering it in slowly. And we're gonna do a uh, leak leak check on the evap coils and. We'll do the condenser coil too. Nice little detect here. I don't know why people talk crap about it. It's been a pretty good leak detector for me, so. All right guys, so we already added one drug and we're obviously still not clear. I imagine we're getting close, but we're still not clear at all. So I'm gonna have to run and get some refrigerant. Kind of wants to fill up. I only had one jug in the truck, so I'm gonna have to uh, run and grab some. All right, guys, so we're back. I already threw in the other jug. Um, we're still having some, well, not still. I believe the unit may have satisfied, so the solenoid might be closed. So um, what I did was I added this jug of refrigerant, I shut off the liquid line, and I made sure that the unit's not uh, overcharged. So this unit, um, now has a clear sight glass and uh, we're not overcharged so this unit is going to be uh, charged uh, pretty good so now what I'm going to do is since I, I already buttoned everything back up I'm just going to get all my stuff off the roof and we're going to start uh, start working from uh, from the inside at the evaporators got to go check those solenoids and uh, superheat uh, once we do that then uh, we'll do a leak check inside I already did a leak check out here we didn't find anything at the condenser like you would expect. So 
See you inside. Hey guys, we're on top of the box now. Um, so I found my solenoid and it is, uh, it is energized. So the unit's running right now. And I was just up here doing a leak search. Um, I didn't find anything so far. We ran it down here. I mean, everything's insulated. Um, but I mean, we'd probably see some oil stains or this, this, I know this leak detector would, uh, would pick it up, you know, just out in the air, especially in an enclosed space like this, we'd be able to pick it up, but I'm not, I'm not getting anything. So I'm very, very tired now. Uh, we pulled down to about 39 degrees. I'm not exactly sure what set point is. It's not on the rack. But I already did a leak check on these two coils and I don't find anything up here. I already did a leak check up over the box, nothing. And I already did a leak check on the uh, condensing unit. So this is going to be one of those mystery leaks that we're going to have to find probably with some nitrogen and a few hours. So more than likely we're going to bid this out and uh, come back if they approve it. So. That'll be it for today, gents. I'm going to go home and get some sleep, and we will see you on the next call.